I have some flowers growing in some of the area Caron in my tank and apparently the end of life cycle, well, flowers growing on the plant can signify the end of life cycle and we don't really want the plant to die. So I've been doing some research, there's not a lot of information because the plants are quite rare, but uh, I've been doing my best and apparently you're meant to remove the flowers, just pinch the whole flower stalk out. So that's what we're going to be doing today, but also I think uh, some of the plants are a bit big, so we're going to be splitting them up with a razor blade and I'm going to be showing you how I do that in my tank right now. This plant with all these flowers right here is Area Caron Anson River and all these flowers I've read that signify the end of life cycle. So we've got to try and remove these flowers, try and put the energy growing back into the, into the plant itself instead of all the energy growing into the flowers. So I think I'm going to do that for these ones right here and also maybe split this one up into smaller pieces because it's quite big now. There's some other area on here, there's a one right here, it's very small because I grew this one and this one from seeds. This one's Quinquanglaire, I think that's how you pronounce it. These other ones here, they're not actually area on but they're blood vomit. Anyway, that's not what we're talking about today, we're going to be talking about this one right here, trying to remove those flowers and splitting it up. Talking about flowers, look at my Bucephalandra brownie ghost. It has a tiny little flower right there. Now that's quite cool I thought, so that's kind of in with the topic of flowers. Just switched off the filter and we're going to be removing this plant right here. All these stalks, look how many flowers there is. So it's probably going to have quite a lot of roots and it's going to probably make a big mess. So I've just got to be, oh my god, look how many roots there is. The whole soil is coming with it. <laughs> so I'm going to make a big mess here, I, I know I am. Um, by jiggling up and down you're, you're going to remove well, you're going to stop all this mess coming up, as much as possible at least. Those roots are going to be bigger than the plant, I think. Oh dear. So we're going to have to do a water change after this to remove all this gunk afterwards. Yeah, just keep shaking it, try and get all that off before we lift it up. Look at those roots. Ugh. So that's a massive root system on these other Chiron. Right, let's get this out. While I'm here, I think I might just level this out a wee bit because we just did make a massive mess of this soil. And this plant, the blood vomit's gonna have to be replanted here. Before we move on to cutting the other plant up, I just wanted to try and pinch off some of these. So apparently you just pull from the bottom and these little uh, plants come out, these little um, roots, what do you call them? Not roots, uh, flower stalks come out. They are coming out, but they're a wee bit difficult to pull off. Yeah, there we go. So one finger on top of the plant and then just pull them out. Got all these flower stalks. They seem to just float away, so that's kind of good instead of lying on the ground. Oops, I'm just kind of pulling out other plants now. We see, we see we've uh, removed some of those plants there. Actually, on the side, talking about the little plants that appear on the side of here, I've got a little plant at the side here, so I'm just going to pull that away. Right there, we've got an, an, an extra little plant, a little baby plant growing on the side of this main plant right here. So that's kind of interesting. Here we have the bigger plant, um, the one with all those little uh, flower stalks on it. Um, the one of the flower, when I was pulling off those flower stalks on the other one, these are some of the flower stalks. So this flower stalk is here, and you can see the little flower butts, the little head of the flower right there where the seeds would be or the um, yeah basically where the pollen is. We also have um, this little baby plant that came off with the other one so sometimes there's little plants that grow on the side of these um, even though they all come from one little spot um, it's possible that some come off the side although they don't have runners like uh, the hair grass for example in this tank over here would have runners um, but this is very different. This is not a, a plant that has runners. It be maybe is better um, explained with one of these plants. This is the blood vomit. And um, if you looked closely, there's a plant right here, the very edge here, that is um, attached. You can see right there, so it's an extra plant that's just uh, attached to the side of here. And that's very similar to all Elia Caron, even though that's not really. Um, but anyway, we're going to be taking some of these stalks off first. So we're just simply pulling it from the base of the plant, like this. Removing all these flowers, flower stalks even. 
There we go. Okay, so that's all of them removed. Broken some of the leaves as well, accidentally. So we can see all those little flowers are removed now. And what we can do is we can split this plant up into smaller pieces. But to do so, it's probably best to use a razor blade. Um, I was looking for the Stanley knife, but I couldn't find it. So um, this is a, a blade from like a straight razor. So what we can do is we can um, take the plant and just cut it down the center with this razor blade. So we're gonna do that right now. Okay, so as you can see, we've just trimmed the plant down the center and we can pull it away easier. I think I might just, just thinking how many do I break it into? I think I'll just break it into these two. I'm not gonna go crazy with this, I think. Um, I could break it into four, I think, but I think it's okay like this. I might also trim the roots a tiny touch. So just pluck the roots a wee bit so I can plant it a bit easier. Don't go too crazy with the roots because the roots are important, but just maybe a wee bit. Okay, so that's those plants done. You can also do the same with this blood vomit if you want to with the razor blade, but um, it's actually quite easy just to gently pull this away and you can get two plants from there. So that's those plants done as well. Here's the plants we've got. We've got three of these Anson Rivers, this little one here as well. And we've got um, a decent amount of the blood vomits that we split up. So we're gonna be putting these in the tank. But uh, first of all, I think it's better to clean up the soil before you replant. Just quickly before I clean the tank and clean the soil up, because it's a bit dirty after removing those plants, I'm gonna actually do a bit of uh, moving around the plants. For example, this Busiflander right here, the Barney Goes 2011, it's gonna be moved and replaced this Labilia right here. And I'm gonna remove, move around a few of these area Chiron just to give it a better look, a bit of a spruce up. And then after that, we're gonna definitely just clean that substrate, make sure the tank's clean and do the water change. Like you've probably seen in my other videos and my last video, I'm gonna be using this again, cleaning the substrate, um, removing all that dirt and waste that we've just you know, picked up not disturbing too much of the soil um, but just taking that uh, dirt on the top layer um, off of the soil and you can pinch the the tubing to reduce the flow or increase the flow in the tank i've uh, rearranged a lot of the plants pulled them out done a bit more of the water change my camera ran out of battery um, but i didn't miss much i didn't miss much um, i've moved the pink flamingo as you can see over here um, a wee bit further forward i've rearranged some of the blood vomit now we've got to plant the rest of the plants in, in a better arrangement. So I'm going to start planting like the Anson River, the Quinquin Glare, and then try and plant the blood vomit around them to make it look nice. And also the, the Busa Flandre over here. First we're going with the Busa Flandre Barney Ghost 2011. As you probably know, this is like the, one of the most sought after plants in the hobby. Um, very cool plant. I love this plant. Um, so it's important not to plant um, the rhizome and just only to plant the, the roots into the soil. You can also attach this to hardscape and everything like that, but it grows faster, obviously, if planted into soil. So you can almost just lie it on top of the soil, but by planting the roots into the soil, it kind of keeps it in place. You can see here we've planted the Busiflandra. I stopped the camera because it was a bit difficult. The roots are not too long. You've got maybe like a couple long roots and most of the other roots are just short, so but I've, I've, I've managed to get a nice uh, little bouquet going here and hopefully it grows better now that it has more light. The next thing we're going to be planting is this Anson River that we removed the flower stalks from and I've going to be trying to put them in certain areas um, along with the, the red elecaron and then I'm going to be using this blood vomit to go around these nice little areas where I planted these ones. I actually managed to split up three of these Quang Quang Glare. I don't, I'm not sure how you pronounce it, but these are the red of the Caron. Very nice, and uh, I'm going to plant these now. Now I'm going to fill up the extra gaps using the blood bomb. I got a lot more than this, so hopefully it's enough to fill up the gaps. So after all the hard work, we've uh, fixed this tank up. We did the water change, but also removed the flower stalks from the area of Caron, um, which is something new to me. I've did a bit of research and 
that information is new to me so it's always nice to learn new things and um, so basically the whole concept was if you remove the flower stalks they are going to be uh, well they would put all their energy into the new flower stalks so by removing them they're putting more energy into growing a bigger plant um, and that's what we want the bigger plant and we don't really need the flower stalks and um, also that bit of information I'm not too sure about where they grow more flowers because they're coming to the end of life cycle um, I think I did need to do a bit more research but there's just not a lot of information about it um, but in the case that it was the end of the life cycle we've uh, removed the flower stalks split them up into smaller pieces so hopefully um, I've avoided um, the plants dying um, and this pink flamingo right here I moved that forward so it's in a better spot and also the booster phalandra in a better spot for the light now because it actually was a bit shaded before so um, I hope you've picked up something, maybe with Eric Carroll, maybe the same as me, maybe you've learned that that flowering, um, maybe just plucking those off is a good idea. Um, and if you've enjoyed it, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. The comments, um, comment as many questions as you want. Happy to answer that. Um, and uh, I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye-bye.